The Swaley House, welcome. We have Bay Day, you have Spike see here. in the building. Welcome to our new Puerto Rican Casa in Dorado Beach. Dorado East. Beach East. We made it. Let's go. We are not in Los Angeles. We're not in Texas. We are in Dorado Beach East. So Connor. Come on in for our third official house tour. Take mm -hmm. them away, baby. Welcome to the grandest of living rooms that we've had so far. Yes, out of all the living rooms, this is by far the grandest, from Missouri to mm -hmm. the penthouse in Los Angeles to Dorado Beach East. I'm just gonna say every time we move, we upgrade, and I do take pride in that. That's amazing because we thought we was doing something with the 15-foot ceilings and Circa and the penthouse. Now we got 24-foot ceilings. We thought we were doing something in Missouri. Okay, yeah. <laughs> with the but house that we had. Yeah. We were, though. Okay, At we the were. time, yeah. we were. Yeah, we yeah. were freshly, you know, newbies. We got a house, then we upgraded to a penthouse, freshly and now married, we have yeah. a Puerto Rican mansion, low-key. So this is Not just... Not low-key, this is a mansion. Okay, high-key. I was trying to be humble, but okay. okay high key. Listen, we worked a lot, <laughs> and you guys in the Swaley gang have seen the growth from the beginning, so just follow us on the tour, because I know you guys like tours. So. Living room, Bailey, you can talk about the decor. Yeah, living room, we wanted it to be open, airy. We actually looked at a few houses when we were deciding to move, and this one caught our eye because it's white, it's fresh, Florida in the windows, we got the natural lighting, um, and it's just like a vibe, you know? Yeah, it's a major vibe. Um, I think we're just gonna go right through here. Yeah, let's go, let's turn. So this is a different type of room. Every here. room, and that's one thing I like about this house, every single room is a different vibe, so I don't think I'm ever gonna get bored here. Yeah, not at all. So this is what we call um, just a family, like, living experience. We're gonna come here, watch TV, chill. There is um, entry to the kitchen, there's entry to the guest bedroom, and there's also a little plant room I'm gonna show you over here. It's you real. follow me this way. It's real. It is a sunroom, and you can literally see if I do not want to go outside because um, it'd be hot. I can get my <laughs> sun rays. I have my plants. These are real plants on the wall. I can breathe in the environment. Um, I'll be doing yoga. I'll be reading meditation. This will be my Zen room, and I genuinely am in love with it. Yep. Per. Continue. Purr. Follow me. <laughs> so we are going. Well, before we go into this room. This is a little side bathroom. I don't think I need to explain that. Yeah, just a guest bathroom a guest for bathroom. all of our guests, you know? And coming in here, this is a master bedroom. This is guest bedroom for whoever comes here, because obviously Bailey is pregnant and will be here in two months. Yeah. Yeah, so whoever basically is helping us out will be in this room for the most part. It's a big, big bed, which is crazy for our guest yeah. bedroom. Yeah, huge closet. Closet. And we have a massive bathroom, which is awesome. So this is a thing. Um, it's like crazy. Whether it's gonna be, it's probably gonna be Swag's mom that's gonna be in this room, or whether my parents come to visit, there's a double vanity with a huge, you know, like accommodations for everybody involved, separate door for the bathroom, you know, some privacy. And it's just like, come on, living yeah. in luxury. It's not a game. Yeah. And next, follow Swag all the way over there. Over here in the cut. You may hear an echo. And. This leads us back to where we started, just on a side way. This is basically our garage. Um, this is our golf cart. Everybody here drives golf carts. Nobody really drives a car. I don't know what we're gonna do with our two Teslas. We may bring them, but like this is like our, our reliable our vehicle that we will be using to get around the neighborhood. But, but we're gonna get new Yeah, one. we're gonna upgrade because we do need more seats. I will be taking on this golf cart eventually. I want to make sure everything's secure and we need to go faster because we got to be, you know, skirt, skirt. Bro, I be driving skirt, skirt. and you can ask the team. I was driving <laughs> yesterday and there's people in like Ferrari golf carts. I'm not lying. Literally a Ferrari golf cart, a Bentley Zoom golf cart. In. Zooming past me, yeah. beeping the horn. I'm like, not hey, to listen. Mention, like, not to mention, we're competitive. Look at that. Look, look at that. that. Oh, see that? Zoom in. Zoom, Zoom in with in. the speakers. Zoom I don't in. even got speakers That's in my joint. We need the speakers. We need everything. Not only that, uh, I did watch a podcast. I think it was Logan Paul about saying how everybody here is 12 years old on a golf cart. One thing I'm not going to do is let a 12-year-old smoke me. We're not doing that. Literally so, 12 years old on a golf cart whipping it. We're not doing that. Yeah, so we're going to have to upgrade. Anyways, back to the house. Hey. 
And you can lead the team. I'm gonna lock the door. Come on, team. We're gonna go all the way back across, and this house is massive, so I'm like speed walking. Um, we're gonna go to the kitchen where I have told you guys so many times before, I am not the most domestic, but it does not matter because things go down in the kitchen. I um, like smoothies. So <laughs> me, my blender, and my juicer will be making some recipes in here. Y'all get those. I might make my brand breakfast from time to time, but my mom, his mom, anybody that's here will be forced to cook us some food. Yeah, and if they're not here, then we're just gonna get a chef. Yeah, there we go. We deserve Period. Like, we chef everywhere. Period, so Windows, we have a cute everywhere. little breakfast nook here. We have the formal dining room over here if we ever wanna have a family meal. Or, you know, we use it as a conference table. We got work to do. We got work to Period. do. Period. Now, let's go outside. All right, and outside. Welcome to our beautiful courtyard. Um, this space is gonna be used for a lot of stuff. You know, we have the dogs. Um, the dogs have never really had a backyard, a courtyard to run around. So I'll be bringing them out here for breakfast. I'll allow them to run around and have space. There's a fountain over here and Swag will show you the side little um, back room. Yeah, and I'm gonna talk fast because, is that a lawnmower? Yeah. Somebody's getting their grass mowed. Mowed, whatever. Anyway, this is the bathroom for those who are in our pool over there that we'll show you guys in a second and we don't want them to come in like in the house just in case. There's a shower in there, the bathroom and there's a sink. And then in here is our pantry. We couldn't come from this way because it's locked right now because they just painted it here. Um, it smells just like paint, which is crazy. But this is our pantry where we're gonna store a lot of the food. It's gonna be cool in here. There's also a bathroom and a shower in here. Never seen a shower in a pantry before. I'm scared of whoever designed this house, but it is what it is. And Bailey is going to lead you while I close this door. Well, it used to be a maid's corner slash that's what it's made for. So if a maid needed to take a shower and she wanted to do her thing, you know, who am I to stop her? All right, so we are walking over to um, Every house we have, Swags has a sanctuary. So this is Every the house. equivalent of his man cave, which we'll call his work cave now because he's decided all he wants to do with his life is work. It's my favorite thing in the world <laughs> to do. This door is locked for good reason. I don't trust yeah. nobody. <laughs> <laughs> we don't trust lizards either. Right? You're gonna hear echo because this is the only part of the house that doesn't have furniture because this house came furnished, which is amazing. Our stuff is in LA right now. It's gonna take about three to five weeks to get here, but this will be the area where I'll have everything day trading related in here. The Sway Gang podcast will be shot in here. Most of the time our confessional will be shot in here, a conference, like everything that we do work related will be in here. And I'm gonna deck the whole walls out, maybe paint some walls and put my canvases up. It's gonna be a vibe. And Bailey's gonna show you where her favorite part is because- This is my favorite part of the house, guys. Um, which is the pool oasis. Okay, so um, honestly, it kind of speaks for itself. This is a beautiful pool with amazing, you know, white furniture. I'll be doing my photo shoots. We'll learn how to swim. I am an aqua goddess myself, so I'll be in the water. I'm not. Uh, swag is not, but he, it's five feet, so he can swim with me, and we're gonna teach him how to swim. Um, swim in Spanish. Oh, rude. Um, yeah, we'll teach him how to speak Spanish. We'll teach him how to swim. And then there's always a hot tub for, you know, mommy and daddy time when is here. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to go upstairs, up these stairs. Watch your step over to this Zen space over here. We love it. We do have a little lizard friend. Um, I have not decided. He's still there? Yeah, this is his house. I don't know what I'm going to do with him yet because I'm not like lizard friendly yet, but this is my space where I can do my reading. I'm gonna add a treadmill, uh, my tempo, tempo out here. I'm gonna be working out, so I think I will spend a majority of my time outside. If I'm not in the pool, then I'll be in this space, you know, getting my body back together. Yeah, this is gonna be a vibe. Bae is gonna live out here. Yeah. You're gonna live out there too, cause I know you're gonna like jog on the trails, but like. But this is this where is I'll live because it's shaded, it's cool, and it's just, sir. It's a vibe. An amazing feeling. Let's go. Show them our little pond. We have a pond. Yep, we do have a pond and there's a bridge that goes over the pond. Um, Bailey wants koi fish to be in there, I do too, but the water's kind of dirty, so koi fish can't be in there, fortunately. It is what it is, but boom. This is the bridge, and um, yeah, there's nothing much to it. I'll use it for photo shoots. There's a bridge. Yeah, use it for photo shoots. There's a yeah. sitting area over there, maybe we trim the bushes or something, and I don't know, I probably won't be out here too much. Dang and leading back to the front. But did you guys record over there? 
this is not a game. Obviously we did it yesterday, but this is the front of the house and there's nothing but a golf cart and, not golf cart, excuse me, golf course. And over there is where like the fitness center, the basketball courts, all the restaurants, this is gated, 4.2 miles. It's all gated, 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 gated. And um, yeah, you just get on your golf cart and just drive around, so. Yeah, I'll be running the 4.2 miles when, whenever I can. Jesus Christ, I won't. No? I'll probably run one, Okay. not 4.2. Anyways, let's get back up to the house because we got a lot of upstairs to show you. This cat showed up on our doorstep and waited as if we were supposed to feed him like on a schedule. Like just sat there? Just sat there like, hey guys, this is my feeding schedule. So of course we fed him and now he's pretty much ours. We left, went to the grocery store, came back, asked the team, he was just sitting there. Yeah. So, yeah. He's ours now. All right, upstairs, you go because I'm out of breath. Woo. Got you. So over here, laundry room. Um, this is, I don't know, dryer, washer. I had no idea. I, I panicked for a second. I cried. I panicked. Clearly, I'm the one that does the laundry <laughs> and that's fine. Uh, we have two <laughs> guest bedrooms on the top floor. You can yeah. take the right. Yeah, this is uh, one of them. So another guest bedroom. Um, we do love our guest bed in our Los Angeles home, so we're not sure if we'll switch this or switch the other one and put this one or our guest bed in Los Angeles in here. But bathroom closet basically a standard bed, uh, guest bedroom with a view outside and the same for this one which i love this one swag uh thinks that the headboard is a little bit yeah, you know, I'm, yeah I'm dead but serious. i love it. it it gives me like rustic victorian vibes i like that there's a a little bench right here you can be nosy and look at our neighbors you know oh my gosh. um you know not too much not in like a creepy way but like Hey neighbor, you know? No? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, every um, guest bedroom has its own bathroom, its own closet, and like we said, we do have a baby, so we want all the guests to come help. Everybody. Now well, we will everybody. welcome you to... Fatable. The master bedroom. The master. Hey! Hello, hello? Okay. Okay. Ready? <laughs> Gang, we're in the building. Welcome to our master suite which is actually really pretty sweet. If you look to my right, your left, there is a beautiful um, extra room. It's like a, an office nook that I'm gonna turn into the nursery for just because people wanna be close to us. Now we have the master suite, which is very spacious. Swag and I had a similar bed to this back in LA, so it kind of worked out perfectly because we loved our canopy bed. We like, you know, we're very large people. He's 6'4 and I'm 5'10, so we needed a big bed. We have a massive closet um, for all of our stuff. We've never shared a closet though before um, in the history of our whole entire. We, Maybe. No. Missouri. No, yeah. I kicked you out of that closet. You kicked me out, but we shared it though. We shared it. I had my whole thing. Remember, I had the whole IKEA stuff? I'm thing? not used to sharing a closet. It's been a while, even if that is true. So we haven't shared a closet in a long time, so we're going to attempt to share this closet, but it's big, so I think I can do it. And then we have a huge bathroom, which literally it speaks for itself. Black and white, it's very eclectic. The tub is, is fresh, shower is tall. Um, there is a bidet and all of the, you know, masters. If you don't know what it is, look it up. It is not a urinal. <laughs> <laughs> it's not again. And now we'll show you our balcony from the suite. All right, so this balcony, oh, it's already open. Wow, save us. This balcony is pretty big. That's a cloud, wow. Okay, yeah, that's a crazy cloud. This is a big balcony and a lot of our stuff, like the egg share and all of our outside furniture is gonna be here. Um, we have a view to the, obviously the uh, golf course and everything in Dorado Beach. Dorado Beach West is over there. We have a view of our pool and our hot tub. We have a view of my office over there and we can walk all the way down. And we also have a back view of the neighbors, like Bailey said. I'm yeah. gonna be looking. So pretty much this is the ultimate oasis up here. I love um, the outdoor space and I just love that everything's covered. I like, I don't know y'all, I'm just trying to be out here. If somebody's in the pool, I wanna be able to yell at them from my room. It just seems like the ultimate like family and entertainment house and I just love it. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna lead you back to the front because I am very, very happy. This is, I say this all the time, every time we go to a new one, but this is for sure my favorite house that I've lived in. Um, it is big enough for me, Bailey, our family, our two dogs, anybody who wants to visit. It's huge um, and it's quiet. Uh, me and uh, Bay was talking last night about 
the lack of noise at night. There's no, you know, helicopters. There's no police sirens, nobody talking on the street that you can hear from the 35th floor. No elevators, no no nothing. You know what I mean? It's just peace and quiet. You hear what? The frogs? Yeah, the lizards. that's it. But now there's no excuses. All we have to do is put in that work and we will have focus for the next six months to a year and hopefully, no, not hopefully, it will definitely pay off. So on that note, it's time to kick you guys out of the crib. Team, we appreciate you for pulling through. Yep. You guys know how empty cribs ends, and we're not gonna tell you that you gotta get out, you know, because um, we're gonna be nice. We're gonna just tell you we love you, we thank you, we will welcome you back in our house. Oh, good job! I'm so proud yeah. of you. I was so prepared for you. He thought I was like, gonna. I'm not gonna oh, do it. Whatever. Don't, go don't home. do that. Anyway, I'm so proud yeah. of you. But we love you guys, I'm and so we proud hope of you. you're locking into our channel. This is just the beginning. Gang, make Gang. sure you subscribe. Later. Peace out. <laughs>